Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and donated to my channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. Um, this is a reading for those of you who are interested to know if your ex might be coming back or how they're feeling. Um, so if you're not <laughs> interested in what your ex is up to, you should not be watching this video. Um, so this is for the month of April going forward or from the time you view this video going forward. It is for the sign of Aries. Also, uh, if, if you're watching this video and the name of the channel does not say Enchanted Tarot, then this video should not be on that channel. So it is a general reading, not going to resonate with everyone. Um, if you want something just for you, you need to book a private reading. So here what we see, um, the reason for this breakup is somebody was unfaithful, okay? Um, above that sits a card of regret. I think somebody has um, went uh, inside of themselves searching for answers here, okay? Trying to gain some sort of insight with regards to this situation. Um, I feel that this person, whoever we are speaking of, um, would like to have a new start, okay? Some sort of secret came out, so, and the secret obviously would have been that somebody was unfaithful within this partnership. Uh, the other person, like I said, they withdrew praying for answers, trying to gain insight, trying to heal. Someone here um, <clears throat> did not want to commit. Somebody here, um, I, I feel uh, this card is here to say that the person wore a false face, so they were a bit of a trickster, um, perhaps sneaky, um, or did it in a sneaky way is what I'm picking up. Um, this was a very emotional breakup, and any wishes and desires that you had for this relationship um, got um, were unfulfilled. But you see, we have the star up right here that speaks to wanting a uh, a fair outcome. Okay, um, justice is a fair and just. Uh, outcome. This is weighing things up. Okay, you can clearly see the person holding the scale, uh, weighing things up. And um, a wish and a desire for a fair outcome. To this very emotional breakup here. Okay, somebody being a player, somebody being unfaithful. Now the star reappears right underneath it in the reverse. Now, in the reverse, it, it can still be a, a good card um, and can simply speak to a temporary, um, a temporary delay or a temporary obstacle, okay, that is stopping this desire from um, being fulfilled. So now, the person is going through a lot of inner conflict, okay? <laughs> and it's like, it's like they can't move past what happened here. And it's like they're waiting, okay, or waiting for you. Uh, but they're definitely waiting. Um, it wasn't balanced. Um, they felt that you know, perhaps you were not giving enough in, into the relationship. And, of course, if you are the one who cheated, then definitely you were not giving, you know, to the relationship. Um, this caused 
a lot of conflict and, of course, a final decision to be taken on this relationship. So somebody, one partner cut the other partner out is what happened here. And so um, the ex felt very rejected uh, if this was you who cheated. But because this can go, like it can turn, right? The message can go either way. But I feel this is um, perhaps you stepped outside of the relationship, were unfaithful. Uh, the partner took it very, very hard. And although they gave that final decision and they, they, they left, the relationship, emotionally they have not left it. Emotionally they have not cut you out, although they did try. They're feeling rejected. They're feeling um, that there was, here we have a, a card of deception, and um, this person is sitting at the table here all alone and wondering what happened. So, and, and this goes back to the hermit trying to gain insight on what happened, feeling rejected, um, broken commitment, broken uh, relationship, and they're very angry right now, okay? Um, but, you know, um, this is uh, the column that would speak to, you know, like what are the chances of reconciling. So although they are feeling very rejected and they are trying to gain insight into what happened, okay, and they're very angry, I do feel that they are open to talking and that they, they are or have change their mind. I feel that they're not as angry as they were here during the breakup, okay? And so they've cooled off somewhat, but they're still feeling rejection, uh, rejected, and there is this lack of trust right now. And they don't want to be hurt again, obviously. So they are grieving this loss, um, but I don't think that they have entirely given up. Uh, I do feel that there has been a change of heart. They've softened a bit is what I'm trying to say. Um, but they are hesitating with regards to a reconnection, okay? Um, and this is because they are not trusting the situation. So it's a uh, broken trust here. And uh, although they would like to uh, reconnect, they fear um, getting hurt again. You see, in this picture, this person is juggling. Okay, so he's juggling two ideas. And you see the innocent sheep here in front of him and the bird of prey ready to swoop down. And that's how he feels. He feels like he can't really trust. He feels like he could get hurt here. And so he or she, I'm saying he, but I mean it, it could be she, um, is not trusting the situation. And because of this lack of trust and this fear that they are now carrying, they hesitate. And so if you haven't had any news from them, that is why. But they still um, are interested in the relationship. They're just afraid. So that's what I've got for you. I hope that this helps, gives you a little insight into what they are feeling, what's going through their, uh, their thoughts. And um, 
if you would like a private reading, the details on how to get one are in the description box below. Many blessings to you and thank you for watching. Bye for now.